Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very good. Excellent. Great, Jacqueline. Thank you. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Are you working on the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay. Recuerden que mañana les van a revisar la section 3. Finish. Y el middle term. Okay. Si tienen alguna duda de, del middle term, hoy podemos verla al final, at the end. Yo tengo una duda, pero al final dice. Sí, sí, al final lo vamos a ver. Porque vamos a ver los temas y después si hay algo que, que les haya costado, ahí podemos, podemos aprovechar ahí. Muy bien, entonces... Um, let's check the attendance. Okay, Alejandro, Alejandro Jose. Denny, no. Hello, good evening. Okay, no, Alejandro. Jet. Um, Ana Consuelo, Ana María, presente, excelente, Elsa Cecilia, present teacher, excelente, Gabriela Carolina, present, Gary Adonai, Present teacher. Okay. Glenda Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Grisel Leonor. Present. Okay. Henry Oswaldo. Present. Okay. Hilda de Los Angeles. Hilda de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Ok. Idalia del Carmen. Jacqueline Lorena. Present teacher. Great. José Audis. No, yes. Okay, Dalia. Catherine Janira. Catherine Andrea. Present. Okay. Catherine Jamilet. Grisia Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Maria Ana. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Cristina. Um, Marilyn. Present. Okay. Marvin. Hi, teacher. Present. Hello. 
Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok. Minor. Present. Ok. Nubia Araceli. Present. Excelente. Nubia Beatriz. Present Miss. Ok. Reina Inés. Hello, teacher present. Hello. Stephanie Alejandra. Present, teacher. Ok. And Tatiana Michelle. Present. Great. Ok, so we are going to start with today's class. Que okay, we are on Wednesday. Remember, tomorrow they are going to check the platform. So tomorrow you have to finish section three and the middle term. If you have any questions, we are going to uh, have a, a, a time in the last part of the class. Okay, If you need an explanation or a little help with something from the middle term. Okay, so today we're going to talk about, yesterday we practiced the syllable stress and um, ah, I bring you something. Okay, ah, we have the numbers again. Estuvimos, ya vimos el repaso de los numbers ayer. No, ¿verdad? Solo no, solo lo mencioné. Y les dije que ya los habíamos visto. You don't remember. Yes, right. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿De los numbers no tienen questions? No. Muy bien, entonces... Let's practice uh, with the double H questions. Okay. Complete the conversation with the double H questions, then practice with a partner. Okay. What part of the manual is this? And Yes, this is exercise 3.11. Okay, numbers and ages. Double H questions with B. De las double H questions fue lo que estuvimos haciendo ejercicios ayer. Um, ¿Tenían alguna pregunta de las double H questions? No. Entonces se recuerdan que eh, vimos las double H words, hicimos un repaso, hicimos varios ejemplos. Que what, why, how, who, where, um, how much. Okay, so let's do the exercise. Okay, look, who's that? Oh, he's 
a new student. Y okay, ese es el ejercicio 3.4 on the platform. No 3.11. This one. He look. Ese era el ejemplo. Uh -huh. Para preguntar por personas. Who, where, or what? Who, 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 who's that? Who's that? Okay, who's that? Because we're asking about a person, right? Y recuerde que. After the double H word, we have to use the verb to be. En este caso lo estamos utilizando de forma contractada. Okay, next. Okay. Who's that? Where's he from? What's his name? Y ahí tenemos la respuesta. I think his name is... What's his name? What's his name? Okay, what's his name? I think his name is... Chin Q. Chin Q, or I don't know how to pronounce that name. Okay, who's that? Where's he from? Where? What's his name? Where? Because we are asking about Where? a place, right? Where is he from? Where's he from? Where's he from? He's from China. Okay, he's from China. Then we have conversation two. Their hat. What is table like? Where are you from? What's your last name? Y tenemos, I'm from Turkey. Where are you from? Are you from? Where What are you like? from? Where are you from? Porque dice la respuesta, I'm from... Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, mm -hmm. yes I'm yes. from Turkey. Then we have... Um, what's Istanbul like? Oh, where are you from? What's your last name? Istanbul is very old. Istanbul like. Okay. What's Istanbul like? What is Istanbul like? Where are you from? What's your last name? My last name is Erdogan. What's, What's your, your last, last name? What's your last name? What's your last name? Okay, and the conversation three. Hi, John. What's she like? How old is she? How are you? I'm just fine. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yes. How are you? Okay, I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Oh, cool. What's she like? How old is she? How are you? What's she like? What's she like? What's she like? Como es ella? What's she like? She's really friendly. And the last one, she's 28 years old. How old are, uh, sorry, how old is she? How old? Is she. Yes. Is she. How old is she? How old is she? She's 28 years old. Okay, so this is exercise 3.11. Questions? Not sure. Okay, clear. ¿Todos habían hecho ya esta parte? On the platform? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, and now the last topic is appearance. Okay, appearance. 
So we are going to talk about adjectives. Okay, habíamos visto adjectives to describe places, right? Or no? No. Muy bien. We have descriptions. Okay, we can describe a person by his or her appearance. Okay, the things that you can see. Okay, the appearance. How does person look? But also you can describe people uh, from his or her personality. Okay, personality, you can't see it, but when you know or when you get along with someone, you realize how is a he or she, a her or his personality. Okay, so we're going to start with the adjectives that we have here. And, oh, oh no, mejor vamos a, a ver los que les traigo. Okay, entonces, we have adjectives to describe appearance, which is the most common. Okay, when someone asks you, and how does she like? Or how does he like? Okay, the first thing what we answer is something related with the appearance. Okay, de cómo luce esa persona. Okay, so we have some adjectives like beautiful, pretty. Okay, beautiful, it's like more than pretty. Okay, they are very similar, but pretty, it's like, yes, bonita, pretty, but beautiful is hermosa is more okay be so beautiful is more than pretty then we have elegant funny cute handsome gorgeous ugly and attractive eso digamos que es in general, in general. George's ugly, attractive. Okay, about related with appearance. Appearance. Okay, in the manual, we have like, for example, when you describe the body types, when you describe body types, okay, if it is uh, chubby, or if it is thin, okay, ya lo vamos a ver en, en los ejercicios. Yes, skinny. And then we have adjectives to describe personalities. Okay, we have, bueno, antes de pasar a esto, do we have questions about these adjectives? No? Great. No questions. Henry? No questions. No? No. What is the meaning of uh, George's?
it could be applied uh, in both cases for a um, um, woman or a man in both cases also with things or in in any in animated things okay it's uh, gorgeous is like uh a splendid splendid okay es como más más fashion más chic okay So no questions. Muy bien. Then we have some adjectives to describe personality. Okay, we have outgoing, impatient, patient, which which is which are opposites, polite, okay, polite, popular, reserved. Tidy, rude, distracted, bad tempered, shy, silly, unfriendly, and selfish. Okay, the adjectives to describe personality are a kind more difficult. Okay, for because you cannot easily understand the meaning of them. If you have questions regarding to adjectives to describe personality, no. What is the meaning of shy? Mm -hmm. Yes, Stephanie. Shy. Eh, shy, si me equivoco, es como tímido o penoso, no sé. Yes. Ah, ok. What about tidy? What is the meaning of tidy? Ordenada. Ok, excelente. Like present, presentable, bien presentada, alguien que siempre anda, yes, ordenado. Y okay, what is the meaning of selfish? Selfish. This is more used in kids, right? Kids sometimes are selfish. They don't want to... Egoísta. Yes, they don't want to share. Egoísta, selfish, correct. Rude. Rude. Oh, you don't have questions. Bruno. So we can make examples. Yes. Grosero. Grosero. Rude. What about outgoing? Outgoing. Okay. Uh, uh, Outgoing is a person when he or she arrives to a party, she's like laughing and saying hello to everybody. Okay, es como extrovertido, outgoing. Okay. So no questions, no more questions. Let's make some examples. Okay. 
the adjectives can be divided into positive, positive adjectives. Bueno, ya dijimos que pueden sí, describir ¿sí? appearance o puede describir personality. Esa es una de las, de las categorías. But also, no, no, no. you can describe, you can say, or you can describe appearance by saying good things, positive things of someone, okay? Things you like of um, her or his appearance, okay? Like good curves or strong, I don't know, that those kind of things. Okay, Catherine. But also there are negative adjectives. Okay, negative adjectives. When you say things that you don't like, okay, in, of their appearance. Okay, and in the same case with the personality adjectives, they could be positive or they could be negative. Okay. At the moment, no questions because we are going to start with the exercise. Okay, write two sentences describing you. Describing you. Vamos a empezar por lo fácil. Describing you. Okay, one sentence describing appearance in one sentence describing personality. Okay, start, go. Types. Okay, Marvin. Really, are you tall? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is your height? Ah, uh, one point. One point eighty-seven. One point eighty-seven. Yes, yes, you are very tall. Okay. In este caso sería very. I'm very tall. And you are unfriendly. Can't believe that. Because you have a girlfriend. Unfriendly boy doesn't have a girlfriend. Okay. Minor also. Okay. Minor. How tall are you? More and less than Marvin. Minor. Sorry, my internet, bad connection. Oh. Yes, bad connection. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay, so minor, rato. you are tall also. Okay, how tall are you, minor? More or less than Marvin? Minor. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Audi. No me había podido conectar antes porque donde venía no había señal y que voy manejando. Ok, ok, Audi. Um, estamos haciendo ejemplos de, bueno, se van a describir ustedes una oración describiendo personalidad y otra describiendo apariencia usando adjectives. Okay, minor, you don't want to, to tell us. Okay, and try to write the, the two sentences together, así como lo hizo Marvin. The two sentences together. Okay, Mariana, I'm...
Catherine, I'm strong. Okay, you are talking about appearance or personality? Because some people have a strong personality also. I'm, le falta el apostrofe, Mariana. I'm impatient. I'm tall. Okay. I'm very short. Que okay, Grisel. Grisel Leonor. You are very, very, very short. How tall are you? What are you? Grisel. You don't look like very short, but okay. It depends on the perspective. Me congelé otra vez. Apaga la compu entonces, si no la vas a usar. Por... ¿Para qué? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay. Hello. Okay, okay. I I have hello. a bad connection, sorry. Okay, estábamos. Ya ni me acuerdo quién le pregunté. Okay, I'm short and patient sometimes, dice Nubia. Okay, Glenda, I'm shy, I'm generous. But shy and generous, it's appearance. What about its personality? What about appearance? I'm small. Mm, I'm reserved. Para hablar de alturas, eh, no utilizamos small. Small es más para tamaños de cosas. We can say short or tall. Yes, short, correct. ¿Qué okay, los demás ejemplos? Bien poquito, pero... I am shy, I am short, I'm reserved, dice Mauricio. Okay, Elsa is also short. I think it's here in El Salvador, we all girls are, are short because I'm, I'm short too. Muy bien, veamos las que tenemos. Okay, I'm funny, okay, Jacqueline. And I'm unfriendly, but it doesn't match because if you are funny, you like to tell jokes to your friends, so you cannot be unfriendly. And you are describing only your personality. You have to describe your appearance also. Okay, I'm elegant without E and intelligent, okay? Ah, oh, wow. Le hace honor a su nombre, Reina. Okay, she has to be elegant because she is Reina. I'm intelligent. Okay. Muy bien, veamos entonces los otros adjetivos que tenemos ahí. Teacher. Yes. Y para decir que una persona es de una estatura mediana. Medium high. I'm medium high.
Ah. Ok, Marvin. Yes, sería friendly. Friendly sería entonces, Marvin. Yes, because if you are funny, you cannot be unfriendly. Ok, así sería medium, high. Hi. Ok. So let's classify the adjectives that we have here on the manual. Okay, this says, he is really tall, like Marvin. Okay, he is really tall. Okay, it's describing personality or appearance. 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 Muy bien, entonces vamos a irlos escribiendo por aquí. Tall sería. Luego dice, he is short. Sería también appearance. appearance. Okay. Short. He is a little heavy. Oh, no, she. She is a little heavy. A little heavy. Appearance or personality? Personality. In this case, Different. appearance. Heavy is talking about eh, como gordita. No pesada de de que trata pesado a la gente, sino de, de en consistencia, <ríe> rellenita. ¿Qué? Entonces, se puede usar, para ese podríamos utilizar. ¿Qué? We cannot use fat. ¿Qué? Digamos que antes, I remember, como ahora los tiempos van cambiando, cada vez la gente se ofende más. In the Americans are the best for, for that. So, eh, antes podíamos decir fat. But today, if you use that word, it's like you are being unpolite. Entonces, es como estar ofendiendo. O sea, las personas se pueden ofender if you use fat. So, you can say heavy or chubby. También hay otras, hay otras, pero esas son las más comunes. Heavy and chubby, but no more. Okay? Porque si no lo toman como, como una ofensa. It says heavy, it says she is a little, a little heavy, not too heavy. Okay? A little heavy. Um, she is thin. She is thin. Personality. Thin. Like a model. Y aquí iría heavy or the opposite of heavy. Heavy is the opposite. No. Yes. Heavy and thin are opposites. Entonces sería appearance. Thin es delgada, like the Barbie. Thin. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Audi. How do you say heavy in Spanish? Rellenita o rellenito. 
heavy. Uh -huh. Gordito. Okay. Bueno, en este caso, como dice, little heavy, okay. sí sería como rellenita. Little heavy. Okay. Y heavy, como gor, gor, gordito. Que fat es gordo. Pero heavy es como otra forma de decirlo sin decirlo directamente. Pero ese es el significado, como gordito, rellenito. Con carnita, pues. Um, handsome. He is handsome. Appearance. Appearance. Okay, like, for example, Chris Hemsworth is handsome, right? Are you agree? Handsome. Okay, very pretty. She's very pretty. Yes. Appearance, right? Pretty. Yes. Ah, ya teníamos handsome ahí. Okay, then we have, they are good looking. Good looking. Personality or appearance? Personality. Mm. Good looking son como sí. los que siempre andan trendy mm. con la muda. Appearance. Cuatro. Good. No, okay. okay. What about friendly? She's really friendly. Personality, okay. So Marvin is very tall and friendly. Así sería, ¿verdad, Marvin? Yes, teacher. Okay, she's talkative. She's talkative. Personality. Personality. La que le cuenta todos los chambres. She is talkative. She is shy. She is shy. Personality. He is funny or he's funny. Personality. Personality. She she's serious. Personality. Okay, personality. Serious and funny are opposites. Okay, igual que talkative and shy. Talkative and shy are opposites. Okay. Muy bien, yo le voy a decir el adjective y usted me va a decir el opuesto. Vamos a ir con opuestos. I'm going to say the adjective and you're going to tell me the opposite. Okay, the opposite. Algunos están aquí, otros puede que no estén aquí, pero vamos a ver qué, qué tantos. Ah, fluffy también, dice Marvin. Okay, fluffy. Yeah, a nice way to say it. Muy bien, for example, friendly. Unfriendly. Unfriendly. Okay. Funny. Which one? Serious. Serious. Heavy. Thin. Thin. Shy. Outgoing. 
talkative. Could be outgoing and talkative. Yes, both. Because outgoing, it's the opposite of shy. Al arma un gran relajo, llama la atención, so that's an outgoing person. And also could be talkative. Que, ah, veamos, pretty. Ugly. Ugly, yes, ugly. Tall. Tall. Short. 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 Game. Intelligent. Dumb. Dummy. Okay, dummy. Yes. He tall and thin mm, are different. Tall is like Marvin because his height is 1.87. Okay, so he's tall, but thin it's like models. Okay, the Fashion models or Victoria's Secret models are thin. Yes? It's clear? Okay, teacher. Okay. Handsome. The opposite of handsome? Ugly. Okay. Ugly, okay, ugly, it could be for both, okay, both cases. Muy bien, preguntas, questions, or no? No, it's clear. Muy bien, now you are going to describe somebody else. Ya hicimos el ejercicio de describirse de ustedes mismos. You already described yourself and now you are going to describe somebody else. Okay, you are going to talk about appearance and personality, okay, both. And you can say something positive and something negative. Muy bien, este lo vamos a hacer de manera oral. Okay, orally. So you have to talk. Volunteers to start. For example, I will describe my husband. Okay, my husband is very tall. He is handsome and he is tidy okay he really likes to to order or to keep the things in order around the house okay but so that's what i'm positive let me think in some negatives que difícil ah and he is I'm going to invent because I, I I don't find any negative. He's impatient. He's impatient and he is rude. But there are not true. There are only examples. Okay? Muy bien, volunteers. Me recuerde que para terceras personas vamos a utilizar possessives. O he, he, o verb to be. Cualquiera de las dos. No hay voluntarios. Are you thinking?
Marilyn. Describe Marilyn, Marilyn. <laughs> from your per from your perspective. Yes. <laughs> Marilyn is tall and thin, and is very 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 talkative. <laughs> And, and he is ugly. <laughs> he is? The last he is one. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> okay. Because you are you are your sister. But asking to Tatiana, right? Asking to Tatiana, it will it will be in disagree. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marilyn. You describe me like you describe your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Telling lies. Okay. Another volunteer. Gabriela. Who uh, uh, I can describe. I... You can describe your mom, your sister, your brother, your dad. No necesariamente de aquí. En este caso, Marilyn, because she knows Marvin. Creo que se congeló. Another volunteer. Uh, my mom uh, or is uh, is very very pretty uh, and tall. Um, my brother is serious. Uh, far. La última que dijo. Uh, your brother is serious and He's tall. Tall. tall, tall. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Glenda. Hi, teacher. Um, my mother is the beautiful. Um, the my my mother is the guy. Um, my brother is um uh, uh, friend. Okay, so your brother is kind and friendly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Muy bien. Kind. Yes. yes. Thank you. Creo que no habíamos visto kind, pero esa es muy usada. Que okay, kind es amable, right? Amable. And also, se me vino otra. Kind, generous. No vimos esa, ¿verdad? Que okay, generous. Kind, when you like to, to help, people in generous it's similar but generous people likes to uh, give money or supplies to help people that need it okay more volunteers two more or three more volunteers Henry. Ahorita estoy haciendo eso. <laughs> Hurry up. Marvin, because you are very talkative. Okay, Marvin. Él debe. Este, Tatiana. Tatiana wants to describe a Marilyn. <laughs> okay, Tatiana. 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> she is tall. Uh, she is handsome. I'm sorry. She is handsome. <laughs> she is <a> little fluffy. <laughs> okay. Nice. But handsome is for for Marvin, not for Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn is pretty. Could be pretty or beautiful. And handsome is only for for men. Okay. And what about personality? Is she angry? My God, Tatiana. No? Be honest. No. Uh, she is shy. Shy. Okay, shy. Okay. Henry, are you ready? Catherine? Stephanie? Estoy preparándolo, teacher. Okay. Uh, yes, what is your name, Mama? Yes, yes. Uh, in my case, my mother is um, very funny. Okay. Also, she is beautiful. <laughs> okay. And, um, I think she is um medium height mm -hmm. cultura media medium medium and finally, my mother yes my mother she is uh, I don't know attractive okay. very attractive attract very attractive <laughs> okay and regarding to personality what about her personality. Her. Her personality. Is yes. she uh, easy going or is she serious? De la um, my mother is she very funny. It's a part of the oh, funny. Okay. Uh -huh. Funny. Okay. So she's fun. Okay. On, we only have space for one more. Enrique and Deuda. Who is ready? No, no, no. Jacqueline, are you ready? Listo, listo, listo. Okay. Come on. Un poquito, pero va. My wife is serious and can cooking. She is very studious and dedicated. She is short and friendly. Okay. Solo una cosa, cuando hagan las descripciones, empiezan, por ejemplo, si van a describir eh, appearance, ponga todos los adjetivos que describen la apariencia juntos, because you are mixing. And then, you can start talking about personality. Okay? Porque si no, se mezclan. And it's a little difficult to understand. But thank you, Henry. Okay, Mariana. Um, I have two daughters. One of um, 19 years old and another 10 years are very cute, um, intelligent, um, tall, is that, is that sure? Okay, hey, hey. okay, thank you, great. Muy bien, solo voy a eh, revisar la asistencia, ya no me quedo tiempo para las preguntas, pero vamos a... a ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Si me la envían en el chat y ahí veo si, si les respondo. Alejandro. No, no, 
No puedo bajar la manita. Ah, yo sí. Que se quedó ahí. No problema. Y para la que tenía la consulta, ¿de, de qué ejercicio era? No, no bien. Catherine Yanira, no vino. Alejandro, no. Um, Hola, teacher, presente, ah, Catherine Yanira. Ok. Sí. Tatiana, ah, oh, yes, right, ahí está. Ok. Entonces, quedamos pendientes siempre con la consulta. Si pueden, me la, me la escribe en WhatsApp. Y that will be all for today. Ok. Remember to practice, complete the section three and the middle term. Ok, porque mañana le van a revisar la plataforma. Ok, see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Good evening. Goodbye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye.